What's up guys? This is The Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my own Poet War. Let's play as Louisiana. So to pick up where we left off, sensing the impending danger, the Italians have advanced a force ready to try and intercept us with their pitiful forces, frankly. They have 1,300 men and most of them are all in completely depleted armies. So I'm fairly sure this will be fairly swift. So let us attack. There are plenty of uh, Italian forces on the map, um, however we do know that they are suffering from fairly significant economic issues and they are not able to actually uh, keep so many troops in the field. So it's rather, rather lovely that the enemy is, <laughs> well they pretty much uh, starved themselves, especially with a Big, big heavy horse artillery units up here are just going to do an obscene amount of damage. Let's just form up our exceptionally capable Louisiana army to march forward and bring an end to the Italian states. So a solid infantry line. Chasseur Pied on the left flank. I mean, this is a fantastic army, really. Loads of elites in it and a really excellent amount of... Oh, God, look at that. A really excellent amount of artillery. So that's why I adore these heavy horse artillery units. Because it's so much firepower in, in um, condensed into two units that what it gives you is the ability to recruit more armies in the field. There is no better way to get ten... 24 pounders in your army than this unit right here. Part of the additional units mod. Because there's nothing they can do to stop you. Not so much so, I'm not even going to fire quick climb. My heart is going to fire around sharp. So the enemy are joining the battle on the, the left over here. So my, ca my cavalry are going to hold position. My infantry. There you go, the enemy general has fallen. as the enemy troops surely are doomed. You men halt, because this unit of regiment of horse might still attempt to charge you, and this chasseur up here is able to oh, annihilate it. Send our skirmishers up to try and head off the reinforcements. I might even just strip off these two units as well to also face down these three units to also face down the enemy. Get my field artillery to focus on the enemy troops coming in. Ah, such devastation. General start to clear out the guns. Yeah, my skirmishers not really utilizing the range of their of their uh, weapons. But I don't I'm not entirely sure that it's even necessary. Heavy artillery folks from the 40th regiment coming in. Our troops are marching right down their muzzles. To the point where this is completely unnecessary. Nevertheless, we shall take these opportunities. This regiment of foot is taking damage at point blank range, however, the enemy has broken. So let's advance our line infantry down the field. So much delicious. Well, it's not even delicious experience. Sure, we're killing units, but there's nothing to kill. So my artillery, counter battery, their unit of demi cannons. Cavalry's not even done anything yet on the left flank. Okay, the 40th are coming in. The 41st are entering the field. Yeah, the 40th have routed. They're going to route in fairly good order. 
but entirely depleted order. So send in our cavalry. Switch the artillery off. Okay, you are Crossier. You, cr you Crossier hit the Lion Infantry. The Lancers hit the 39th. Try and do as much damage to these intact infantry units as possible. You guys can carry on firing because you can pick off the 41st. Yeah, 39th, they're going to successfully rout. The demi cannons, not so much. You men fire well off, otherwise, you're going to do way too much damage. So let's attack the gun teams. Take them out, and then once our lancers are done, once they're done taking out, hey, no, you're not going to stick around for very long. New men of fire will off as well. See, look at this, what a meanies! Does the artillery have my how it's have the range for this? Let's trot my Lancer Guards out of the way. Skirmishes are giving them some something to think about, and as the artillery comes in as well. Yeah. And you've also thought twice about what you were doing. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It's magnificent, but it's not war. Too damn right. That's what happened here. Uh, do I want to intercept the Italians there? Yes, I do. Or do I, or do I just auto-resolve it, to be honest? There's nothing here. We fought one battle against ridiculous a ridiculous army. That'll do. Yeah. <laughs> There we go, they've, they've garrisoned Rome, so if we want to push in and take the city, we still can. But that's, let's, not, let's not be silly. Certainly not at this point in the campaign. I mean, come on. Hey, they've just damaged my National Observatory. So you're in fantastic, well, relatively good shape. I mean, the garrison, hey, they've actually got a good garrison now. Vincenzo Carducci, Carducci Valentino Manfrin... And Sansoni Perti. I don't recognise any of you, I'm oh, sorry. So, we need to pick the better army, which I think it has to be. Well, it's not going to be this one because they've got fusiliers. You're in pretty good shape as well. You men infiltrate Naples. Again, Austria, they've turtled. They certainly have turtled. Child the caster, you guys might actually just stay on the defensive because you need to. Well, what I'd like you to do, to um, punish a bit more. You need to push up and hit this army here. To be honest, there's lots of lots of fighting to do. Let's not worry about optimizing everything. Although I can start, I can actually just spend a bit of time moving. Bastien Perot, can you leave Wait, Kiev? You can. Keep on spending. These armies are done. We fought them. We fought them in, but we fought them previously. But I'm happy just to leave all these guys just keeping an eye on them. Um because they are almost certainly not needed in the final attack. <laughs> because we've got all of these chaps. So let's move some of these units south. Francis de la Flot. Mr. Nipis, Napis, Napis. Amadio Mortier. Push you guys up. 
Sylvester Germain, you're in fairly good shape. Mr. Suffering, you're doing good. Sh you're in good shape. Felix Larocque, you could do with a bit more. Um, but let's not get ahead of ourselves because we may as well take this opportunity to move Mr. Notre, Notre, Notre down to Rome. Let's attack Rome. Let's destroy the Italian states. <laughs> and then we will also be on the final path to defeating Austria. And then we've only got one city left, and that's the uh, Ottoman Empire in Istanbul. And we're going to keep picking them. We're going to keep picking them apart, and it's going to be beautiful, I think. It's going to be lovely. There's only one episode where we're pretty much going to play the game. Well, next episode will be the episode won't end until we win. That's going to be how it how it goes down. Well, I might actually split. Okay, let's split you guys up. Focus on two breaches. Let's put a skirmish unit and a two infantry units per breach. Then the remainder, which will be you men plus my marines, are going to push up on the flank with some cavalry, and some cavalry is going to stay out front. How it is firing quick climb. You men knock a hole in there, you men knock a hole in there. How it is fire at whoever you like, really. Yeah, they're aware that something's going on on the flank. But I'm afraid it will not save them. We just have too many bodies and too many guns to throw into the battle here. It will not be enough. They will not survive. I'm happy just to let my howitzers fire at will, to be honest, because they're, they're clustering up fairly nicely there as it is. Especially as we have a bit of time, because right now we are just waiting for the artillery to smash down the walls, I'm afraid. These men do not yet understand the peril in which they are now currently living. 38th is particularly upset. So let's maybe pick someone else who isn't the 38th. And you guys, to be honest, might just attack the 30th. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, great hit. Yeah, sadly we don't have a way to trap these guys on this section of the wall by the gatehouse because the, the walkway here stays intact even when this section is destroyed. Okay, let's get one of you. Let's hit the 36th because they're currently in a delightful position and another one of you continue to attack the cluster above the gate. Seventy-four percent for that gate, ninety-one for the other. Ooh, down to sixty-six men for the thirty-six. Down to six, six men. The entire unit's nearly completely destroyed. Okay, let's maybe make the howitzer attack someone else. So we've got our breaches. So it's the sixth light foot we've got attacking on the left. So push up. So let's re-target our howitzers and then our attack columns. Swarm, swarm, swarm. I mean, my gunners might, may as well focus on the bastions here and here. Because they have no howitzers, it's just a bunch of field artillery. Look at this soul here. Every single one of his comrades 
stands dead around his feet, and he's not entirely sure if he wants to stay there or not. Well, let's see if you can entice any of them to leave their the safety of their walls. So, you need a line infantry to block the gate. One unit can scale the wall here. You scale that section. Let's send one unit to flank around to try to scale the other doorway. And that's going to be where my cavalry go. To be honest, I want to attack the, this, that breach. We can keep quick climbing the other to try and make a secondary gap. But to be honest... I think it would be wise. You want to ignore this fella? Try run my skirmishes into the command HQ. Yeah, look, as soon as I stop charging them, they suddenly turn around and go, Why don't you want to charge me? So turn my howitzers off. Run one unit of infantry forward to try and attack the to attack to attack the guns. Or well, you might you guys might drop into square completely. They're not charging, so my chasseur appeared should not just die. This square got hit hard. Chasseur a pied shouldn't be here at all. Give one unit an orders to attack the enemy artillery. Make sure my chasseur a pied have a new order. Make sure my lances have a new order. foot got absolutely smashed by that unit of horse artillery. No. Nope. Get out of there. You guys attack them. You men attack the 37th. Cavalry get around here and start to attack the enemies. You men secure the gates. The cavalry slams home into the 24th in the distance. Still not our gate. There we go. Just run the marines off. To be honest, it looks like a bunch of these units, don't you? Okay, I gave them the order to attack the gatehouse, but they appear to not want to do that. Curacier, get in here. Like, that that's what's super annoying, is they're getting up here and they decide to climb down and go, no, no, I'd rather climb up these and go up there instead. And it's like, ugh. Keep attacking the cannons. Run my light infantry up on top of the walls to get ready to fight whoever we need to fight. I mean, these men can clear out 
the artillery well enough. Let's run the marines into the center. Handful of gunners left. And you guys fight them as well. Okay, here comes the enemy. Cavalry keep engaging the enemy. Marines keep holding the center. Get this infantry over here to help block the gate. You guys maybe get into that barracks unit. You might actually secure the gatehouse instead. Let's engage the infantry there. You may keep killing the 37th. But these marines should secure the center in good order. Especially once you've killed a couple more. We could get the infantry to charge down off of the steps here. You've got seven more cavalry to knock out. There is a chance. Fire it will on. Go on, cavalry, hit the general's bodyguard. There we go. He was coming towards the centre, which obviously I don't want. And this infantry unit's doing the same. They're aware of what's going to happen. It's probably going to get reset when the general's bodyguard gets into the mix. But it's still zero, but look, he's coming in. They know what's going to happen. They need to stop it. But they shouldn't. I mean, how many seconds has it been zero? I was going to say. <laughs> oh, what's the point of holding the center for zero if it's going to go? Yeah, it, it's gone down to zero, but let's add another five seconds on. The city is ours. So let's repair these buildings get my army yes, up and kicking again Mr. Motio, you continue to build so our spy try and kill their general here oh, <laughs> top quality assassinating there can you men replenish yes, you're replenishing you're waiting to see if they come at you, which is the smart call, I think. Um, got another army here to move up into the danger zone. So Paul Merle, let's go hit this force here at Thessaloniki. Just keep ratcheting the pressure against the, uh, the Ottoman Empire. Because, uh, yeah, just keep squeezing them. Just keep squeezing them again and again and again and again and eventually we will hammer them back into the walls of their capital city such as it is this very elite army here guard artillery as well so they were recruited a while ago Good. 5th Grenadier Regiment, 25th, 104, 117th, 6th Grenadier Regiment. Yeah, we're going to start on the right flank and push. So now my Grenadiers on the left with all of my cavalry. Howitzers, unload, quicklime. <laughs> they had a similar sort of plan except covering a different ridge line. How it just can't do anything, even with round shot. Oh, and even actually missed one. So our artillery is under a devastating barrage onto their howitzer. Ok, 
Okay, the infantry run into position. It looks like they are going to come at us. Okay, so... Um, unit of Mamelukes pushing in. Good for them. There. Chat bar thing. Go away. To be honest, for most of these units, it's just not necessary to form square. Just because they are weak. I'll throw out some delicious quicklime, because it looks like the enemy, since they've lost their guns, they've decided that they don't really have a lot of choice. Especially these lighter cavalry units that just don't stand up to scrutiny. Yeah, charging Bashi Bazooks with Colonial Light Horse, a bit of a gamble. Because Colonial Light Horse go down pretty quick in the musket fight. Okay, let's pull away a unit of Curassier to also help out. So we won't need two to take out one horseman unit. I mean, that Feline unit is going down rapidly. You men pop out a square. Let's pivot our line. Switch a couple of units to quick line. Light cavalry chase down the Bashi Bazooks. Infantry keep pushing forward just to make sure that the enemy is aware that there's something else to attack rather than my cavalry. We need to clean out some of these enemy units pretty rapidly. I mean, the 19th Order should, is likely going to experience some uh, significant issues dealing with my grenadiers. Interesting, there's a regiment of horse guards, and that's just the 7th horse guards. Yeah, that unit did run around the flank, but it didn't really bother me just because we have so many men and we can afford to throw them away. We can even slam into the flank of the Israeli, switch our howitzers to round shot. Let's remove them of another useful infantry unit. So we have a cuirassier unit right now that's doing pretty well against the grenadiers. Get the grenadiers involved in the fight. Just turn off all my artillery. Grenadiers attack the Wallachian boyar. You men run up to engage the grenadiers. Four Bashi Bazooks, but of course they're running through the town, so they're going to be funny about how what directions they route. There you go. They think they're the, the uh, Wallachian Boyar think they are uh, pretty hot stuff, but not when they not when a Louisiana Grenadier sticks a musket up your jacksy. Not quite so tough then. You're definitely meant to push on to the Janissary Grenadiers. My Grenadiers are going to deal with the cavalry. Yep, they're wavering. Okay, swing south, hit the K 
cavalry. My cavalry continue to attack the Janissaries. And then that is the enemy defeated. So we're going to continue, because it is an army in the field. We may as well keep attacking them to prevent them from regrouping and potentially causing us more issues later on. Okay, go help that unit out over there. Get, the get my infantry to run away. I did plan on... I sent these guys over to try and knock out some Feline while my general knocked out this last Bashi Bazook. There we go. Now two units can both attack Feline together. So can that unit. So can uh, this unit. Because they're all... Again, it comes down to the old. They've retreated in so many weird ways. It's a... They're a bit of a cluster, so you to keep right-clicking to keep killing a handful of men every time. With the hope being that eventually you will kill a critical mass, whereby you can actually trust the AI pathfinding to do the job for you. Down to 17 men, and we've got plenty of cavalry in the area, so we should knock them out. There we go. Decisive victory by attacking the troops of Thessaloniki, which is good stuff. Nice. Obviously they routed past our line, but whatever. This is why you have troops covering your backside. Jabby jabby. But Laurence to Constantine, you can also then march up to the front line. Ready and waiting for orders. And Paul Merle will raid that and then advance. I cannot do yes. Everyone push forward. Um, it's tempting to... Oh no, I know what we have to do now. <laughs> Let's go take out Denmark. Um, so fighting against the Ottomans, I'm tempted to give myself a another turn of replenishment because the army that can attack Belgrade is going to be... Well, all those armies are depleted, so I'd like to have some replenish... What, rep, I don't like to have some replenished troops so that once I've got... As I have about six or seven armies, I can theoretically fight six or seven sequential battles, which is very, very good when you're trying to punch through an enemy line. I mean, this is going to be a slaughter. Olivier... This is Olivier Bousset? No. No, it can't be. Well, maybe it is. But our infantry is just going to run in and storm the town while our cavalry is going to run around the flanks and... look for anyone trying to escape. storm through, just giving them orders to just run through the town. You men walking all right. Walking, walking, probably walking. Need to run. Charge into the open ground. Charge into the open ground and destroy the enemy wherever you find them. These two units are going to fix the second regiment of garrison line. My marines are going to push around the flank. You men push through the centre of the town. The artillery can honestly just stay silent. My guard de corps, I've got a line on their general's bodyguard. 
my marines charge the first regiment of militia. It looks like their garrison unit is going to collapse. You men push through and engage the firelock armed citizenry. You men push through and engage the third regiment of foot along with well one unit run around the flank actually. You have to hit the third. You men push on and hit the first. Okay, you can hit the first instead in the rear. Yep, they're unhappy. So everyone except for that unit run through... run like that. You men hit the f that unit there. These guys so they're shattered. The militia are not yet shattered but they will be. You men charge the general's bodyguard. Just swarm in. General's bodyguard, you can chase down the first regiment. <laughs> These men have all decided to run through this bit here rather than around the sides, so I'm gonna have to send this regiment afoot to charge the armor citizenry in the rear. Engaging the line infantry, you've killed their general. Okay, you men charge the third regiment in the rear. You men get out here. You continue to chase down the militia. You men swarm the general's bodyguard because they're the last unit that's actually alive after the general has fallen. Yeah, there we go. Huzzah! Reykjavik is ours! That's what they get. That is what they get. They get what's coming to them. The territory is taken and now we have a new king of Iceland. Yeah, here's Olivier Bousset. You men replenish, upgrade and enjoy your posting. To this volcanic isle. Good stuff. <laughs> yeah, there's a... I know, there's an Austrian army in our port. What are we going to do? Chomp. Ah, oh, they're still alive. You may take out Christoph Hat. Oh, that's going to suck to auto resolve that, but whatever. Ready for order. So I'm El Barney, or Barre. You men, get aboard ship. Sir. And we send the sloop fly to land on the southern boot of Italy. Could potentially attack Naples, but I want... At the very least, I want both these armies together. Although, could be Perrin Deville. Get him over to Marsha Slot. I mean, I know they, they're not happy with us, but we can recruit militia to help out with that, and to be honest, just exempt them from tax. We've got loads of troops we could land here. Baron Deville. To be honest, you may as well just, you, just throw them in because they're not going to do any good back here. Noel Monse. Well, you might be needed there because the territory hates us. Tunis may be the same. Gilbert Appert. 
Can you leave Tunis? You can! Okay, this might be the army to throw into the attack. He's got the Royal Escossais. You've got an army that's actually really quite early. Yeah, the 3rd Foot Guards, 29th Regiment, 33rd, 32nd, 28th. 1st Foot Guards, 6th Light Horse. They will lead the way. They're in the van. Good stuff. And let's just do a little bit of disbursement of... I mean, no, it really doesn't matter because the enemy doesn't have the ability to interfere with our plans the way that I'm kind of need to, I'm kind of preparing. Yeah, I'd like these guys to do some replenishment before they push. But march up to just within range to attack. Okay, pick up a unit of Irregulars. Oh no, not Irregulars. Oh, too bad. I think your loss of a unit is going to exp is going to um prevent you from being involved in the final actions. Orleans is about to research sheet-led cartridges. Don't worry about any of that. <laughs> Let's hit in turn. It's all the armies <laughs> swarm in. I mean, they could try and go for us at the in the Middle East. I mean, if they do, that'll be very, very much temporary. Yeah, they're not giving up. They're not giving up. Raid away. It will not save you. Oh, I'm going to auto that because that's a pretty depleted army. Blip. You don't need to worry about fighting dregs when we've got actual battles we can be fighting. That's my general opinion. Why waste time fighting, you know, river battles that don't mean anything? So, Rake and Württemberg. Again, not useful. Loads of new towns, though. Medellin and Gran Canada. Bathurst and Acadia. Otiamike, 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 and Tatooine and Tunis. I mean, they may as well build it. Loads more good stuff built. The army is dispersed in uh, in Italy, and it's kind of dispersed. Well, because it's gone north to try and intercept these armies. First of all, build up our battle line to prevent any of these armies from breaking out anywhere. More orders. Halt. Don't you dare think you've got Ready. more firepower than us. Because <laughs> you don't. There is no way to cross the river here. The Danube. Is that the Danube? Yeah, that's the Danube. Okay, so just make sure the armies that need replenishment do have up to date. Replenishment orders. Felix Darok. I'm going to put Sophia under siege. I'm not going to fight it this turn yet. I want to do this with some of their arm some of these armies. Eh, you're still useful. Because I can could potentially bottle have bottled up all these armies. See so you advance, but Urbain Larue, your army, take the lead. Alexis Sharnock also advance. Just push everyone up. Yeah, they're all bumping into each other. Um, but I think the battle of the fight is to take Lord. Mr. Appere, march this side of Naples, and attack the city. Because this will be the death of Austria as well. So in one turn we'll have destroyed the Italian states, Denmark, and Naples. And by advancing over here, we're outside of the control zone of this army here. So they cannot help. They cannot help. And it's just a shootout against the remaining Austrian forces. So let's attack Naples. Then this territory is done. This garrison, well, the 
The forces of Austria that have repelled us for so long are done, and it will be delightful. Yeah, but I very much do think we potentially only have one episode left after this. A couple of big... Well, it'll be one long episode, because we'll have a fight against a fight outside Bulgaria, there may be a few fights with the rest of their armies, and then we will have the um, final assault against Istanbul. Good stuff. So you men are in... These armies are in good shape. They've been fighting all the way through America as Louisiana. I don't think they... I don't think they fought with us in... They don't think this army fought with us in India. Very elite light cavalry contingent. But we're not going to be passive. We are going to be active participants in this battle. Chiefly because we have a bunch of cavalry against us and what's the point of making it too easy for them to just charge into you. Grenadiers, Royal Escasse. Ooh, they see a flank charge somewhere. Oh, I actually made you guys all stop running. Very well. They appear to have, with these cavalry charges, they appear to have abandoned the left flank. The lancers and their lancers. Hold! You mentioned chew up the 19th lancers. Yeah, they're doing good. There we go. Now we've started to hold the, the squares. So we've destroyed the cavalry contingent on the right flank. The left flank is where the bulk of their infantry has gone. But that's also where some of our strongest infantry lays. Both these, inf both these cavalry units have broken. So you men form up. Throw our light cavalry into the mix. Ooh, cavalry charge. Hungarian light horse. If you have any free shots. Very well. Engage. Swiss Grenadiers with your round shot. 33rd are, change, are engaging the Australian-Hungarian Decefri Hussars. Oh, fire by ranks going in here. The Lanvin Militia. Are oh, they engaging the Fly Corps on the left? It's the end of them. My Colonial Light Cavalry engaged the General's Bodyguard. Get our cavalry, our light cavalry involved. New men charge the Jaeger. We've got an enemy infantry unit routing. Understandable because they just got charged by a bunch of guys. And your job is to hold. Swiss guard are gone. The general's bodyguard unit is shattered. You've mown down the Swiss mountain Jaeger. Continue to the charge. To be honest, the Foyega Sophia are not doing what they need to do to destroy my line. I've got my my cavalry over here ready to charge the enemy in the rear. 
slam into that Lanvin Militia. We'll get rid of the line infantry to make sure they route. Yeah, there we go. Fold in my elite infantry around itself. 32nd Regiment has returned. Let me bring you guys up to support the light cavalry. Shattered, broken, shattered, broken. So they make my units fire into the back of this combat here. I'm not going to make them charge, they're going to reload and they're going to fire. Because the rest of the army is just shattered. So third foot guard are ready. See, the seventh light horse is doing okay for now. Who's going to fire first? The first, the third, or the thirty-fourth? The third. Yeah, understandably they didn't like that. Cease fire. I'm not worried about chasing people down because there's no... They've got all these anti-cavalry defences. But there we go. Naples has been secured and that is the end of the Austrian Empire. Where's the little widget? Wait a minute. Why did I not get a... Don't tell me they still exist somewhere. Well, they can't do. I own everywhere else. Although it might be delayed. Sometimes it kind of happens. It, it's kind of buggy where it will tell me next turn that that's happened. But then that means these armies. More orders. Ready and awaiting orders. These armies unload. Sir. Ready for the final battle. Just sail over and land. Force them to march at us if they want to try and do any damage to us. You men sail back. I'm not going to waste my time moving all of these guys over. It's just not necessary. Well, I mean, to be honest, this isn't necessary, but eh. we all want to see this amount of firepower, don't we, in one place. Sweet. Okay, let's... To be honest, we, do, we should probably take Mr. Laroc and attack Sophia, which I will do this turn, because it's only a regular old city battle. And most of the garrison troops are made up of Israeli, so it shouldn't take longer than 10 15 minutes, thereabout. It will be another. It will be another destructive. Um, <laughs> destructive event for the security of the Ottoman Empire, because they will now have one territory remaining. And if they decide to just leave to, put, to send troops. Um, to the north of the Danube to try and do whatever, I will not be afraid to just attack the city of Istanbul itself. I don't like how this is getting... Okay, right, good. I was getting a bit concerned that things were going to start to get a bit um, crashy, for the want of a better word. Let's deploy... Deploy the howitzers up on... No, actually, no, not, not up on the hill. The howitzers deploy on the field. Field artillery deploy up on the hill. Get a good field of fire. Our grenadiers and our engineers plus two units are going to go through the town. Four units are going to go around the right flank. Four units are going to go around the left flank. 
give them some cavalry for support. So howitzers fire quick lime, which we are going to focus on the garrison Islamic swordsmen and garrison Islamic swordsmen. That's all they can really shoot at. So we're getting some counter battery fire. Let's run our chasseur our cheval up. I want my other unit of Chasseur à Cheval to, to pretty much knock out this unit of Delhi Horsemen before they even become an issue. And I can just slam a these four infantry about here and really cut into the flank of the, the enemy. So you men, fire your volley. Charge Delhi Horsemen, hopefully making the route, which it looks like it will. So that means this infantry can run up like so. So then let's begin pushing up our troops. There, we're getting quick limed. So let's put two units in between these buildings put two units wide use our chasseur, our cheval as they're supposed to be used let's get our horse guards up around the flank let's get our cavalry up on the flank and out of the way push up our infantry to start gunning down the enemy Berlin Musketeers, Firelock on Populus Israeli. Let's maybe give them a few different targets. So where's my general? I want my general ready to try and chase after units that route. New men form up. advance the line because it looks like we are in a great position to exploit a collapse of the right flank ooh that's a perfect quick line target right there we'll keep running you guys Fire it will off. Slam into the Israeli. Try and shatter them. Curassier hit the Mamelukes to the rear. We can spin these guys around like so. Bring our cavalry in. Yeah, might lose a few to cavalry defences. I mean the sixth unit. Very well. Let's charge these units in. Catch them on the. Oh. <laughs> there we go, and they're broken. <laughs> they didn't. They're like, let's charge them. Wait a minute, they're charging us. He can't do that. Okay, let's push out the grenadiers to this gap. Some great. Oh, potentially great quick violet. Quick lime units, let's switch our howitzers to round shot. Okay, the left flank is completely collapsed. So, infantry wise, you men push up to between the houses, these men push up to face off against this, these enemy units to the rear. I mean, you're gonna chase down. I mean, god, this is chaos. Yeah, they've that's just a collapse. That's just a complete collapse. Everyone's gone. <laughs> Everyone's gone. There's no need to chase people down because 
There's no one left, and the entire garrison just gone. That was quite a significantly fast deterioration of enemy fighting power there. Still, territory is ours. We can bring the governor's barracks or get the governor's barracks repaired. Upgrade the buildings we dare upgrade. I mean, not that it's a massive. I mean, I wonder if Transylvania. No, we're not. We're not chipping our way through. Let's build. Just churn away some line infantry, just in case, so we don't receive any big surprises. Um, it's just, it's just Istanbul. With a couple of armies nearby. I'm going to hit end turn because I want to give them an opportunity to attack me. And then we can destroy them. And next episode will be the final episode of my Louisiana campaign. Yeah, it's just the Ottomans. Oh no, they're going to take out my like lone ship in the Dardanelles. <laughs> they lost two ships because of it. Oh, they captured one though. Oh well. Do you sense the impending danger, Ottoman Empire? Do you see what's happening? Will you attack me and fight a giant battle? I'll take it, because it'll, it'll bring in this army plus this fella here. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of two glorious Ottoman armies in the Ottoman Empire campaign finale. Cheers, everyone.